Hello everyone, welcome back with the uh, video on React Native mobile app development. So in today's video, we are going to learn that uh, how we can implement Firebase push notification. So for those who are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let me open my project. So first of all, let's uh, head over to the official documentation of the React Native Firebase. Here it is. Okay. And uh, in this, we have to go to the notification section, cloud messaging. So let's go to the usage. So first of all, we have to install the Firebase messaging in our application. But before that, you have to integrate Firebase in your React Native app. So I I already done that in my previous video. So those who are new, they can check my uh, previous video. The link is in the description, and also check my whole playlist of this uh, React Native mobile app development. So here, first of all, we have to install this. Uh, this messaging uh, module okay so let's install this in our application okay so now uh, it is installed in our application so Let's come down to the documentation. Before doing anything, our first step will be uh, going in our Firebase project and uh, we will go into the project setting and cloud messaging. And here you can see that cloud messaging API is disabled. So what you have to do is to click on this go to manage api and uh, and click on this enable button so it will enable your cloud messaging okay so our cloud messaging is now yeah it is now enabled now okay now you can refresh your firebase project so okay now you can see you can get the server key so after enabling this uh, firebase cloud messaging we have to get our uh, uh, fcm token so how we can get our fcm token so let's just come into the our app.js file and in here i can say that uh, like uh, uh, let's create a function with name of push notification notification and uh, let's just create this function async function push notification it is iOS okay and uh, after that you have to first of all you have to get your FCM token Firebase token so how you can do this so FCM token is equals to this await uh, messaging and uh, after messaging you have to say get token okay so if fcm token let's just print it first let's just check if we are getting it or not so let's say token fcm token okay now let's just save it and uh, rerun open our application yeah 
so our application is open and we are getting the token over here okay so now our second step will be after getting the notification fcm let's just come down and head over to the document documentation so here we okay so here you can see that uh, foreground state messages okay foreground state messages means like uh, uh, if your app is in foreground how you can receive okay so let us copy the whole thing and use it in our So for sending the push push notification, I'm using post mail. So this is my post mail uh, post mail. So here you can see I provided the link of FCM Google APIs, and uh, you have to first of all go to the header section, and uh, in header it will take the key. The key will be your server key. Let's copy it and uh, paste it inside key is equals to like this and this is the body okay and uh, the body take registration id is like an fcm token and uh, let's just uh, copy paste the fcm token that we get from our application and paste it over here I'll also provide this link in the description so don't worry about anything and also this uh, body so you can uh, perform it easily so if I go to click on the send button so just if I click on the send button the alert will be open over here okay as you can see the alert is opening like we are receiving the messages in the foreground state so this is this function works when we are on the foreground state okay but if i do something like that and uh, let me also open my this thing so if i let's just do this close my application like this and uh, over here i will do not say alert i will say that console.log okay, and save it so if I send the push notification you can see it's saying no background messages handler okay so it means that if the app is open then our uh, uh, if the app is open then our this function will work properly but if we if the app is open not open it if it is closed and if it is killed permanently like swipe out so this function will not work and also you can see that uh, we are uh, discussed uh, in our um, beginning of this video that uh, api level uh, 33 plus will mean the uh, this permission okay so um, this is uh, coming automatically from the messaging uh, messaging regulative messaging module so we have to also allow this okay so so this thing so this function that we inserted over here is only uh, is only working when we when our app is on the foreground state when our app is open okay if I send it again, then it will work. Okay, then it will work like a new FC. But in the foreground, in the sorry, in the background, what we have to do is to let's come to the bottom. So we will use this function. Okay, so let's come over here. 
and after that come over here and uh, paste it like this okay that's all you have to do and nothing else okay if I save it okay so you can see let's say messaging handle in the background so if I kill the application like this okay and right now I am going to send the push notification okay you will receive the notification like you can see over here let me just show you one more time again so if your application is on the background state so what will happen so when I send this you can see that I am receiving the uh, notification over here and also I am uh, receiving the notification in my console also so this is how you can do it in your background so let me change the uh, title to code with then let's save it and send it one more time so as you can see that it is showing it is opening code with then okay so this is how you can do react this is how you can do in the background so okay so as you can see that I am also getting this warning that no task registered for key react native messaging headless task so I think check whether initial notification is available and assume that message notification contain a property in the data payload okay. data payload so how we don't have any data payload over here okay 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 so if I if I uh, put something inside the data like this and on my payload and I save save it and uh, this messaging get initial notification okay let's copy that and uh, paste it over here so we don't need this this thing and we don't need this thing also now let's just save that save that and uh, close this close our application This is a FCM notification title group. Okay. So, yeah. So, we got something. Let's just go into the code. Okay. Notification caused by app open the quit state. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So guys if you are on the quit state like if the application is quit like this okay and you get some notification like uh, some notification come like this and how so how you can get the like what data is coming inside the notification so if I press on this you can see that I am getting this data Okay. and in this data you are getting android body title okay android body title okay yeah you are getting some data inside the this notification So this is how you can get the data if you are in the quit state.
but the one thing that I am going to remote messages okay so uh, this is for the notification guys but if I don't say that dot notification okay if I say only the remote message then you can I think you can get the whole message okay so, so right now we are not getting the data as you can see we are only getting the you know, the body and in the body we are getting only the we are getting the body and uh, the title the body and the title which is inside the notification section but if you get you want to get the whole thing i think we don't have to say that dot notification so let's just test it okay like send we send it one more time and uh, let's just click on that and go to the console one more time so where are we yeah on the bottom and if i copy this whole thing copy this and go to json parser okay. yeah so here you can see that you are getting the data also so whatever uh, the whatever the uh, the data you want to get you want to get you can just say like if you get want to get the data inside the notification you have to say that remote messages remote message dot notification if you want to get the data inside uh, the data so depending upon the project and depending upon the functionality that you have created so i think this describe the whole briefing of the remote messaging so if you guys are new to the video then subscribe to my channel and if you like the video then hit the like button and also uh, if you if you guys haven't checked my whole playlist then check it so i'll see you guys in the next video and one more thing if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section so i'll be happy to give the answers so take care guys i'll see you in the next video